in my kitchen today, we are making something I can eat. Hot Cheeto Tacos. I can't believe Taco Bell hasn't done it yet, but I'm gonna make them because this is something I've been dreaming of because I love tacos. So let's get right into it. First things first, we're gonna need some hot Cheeto grind. So grind up your hot Cheetos and then one cup of masa and one cup of hot Cheetos. And then you wanna mix that all together and get it all beautiful, red. You're gonna need about one cup of water. You wanna slowly add your water into it very gently and slowly until it becomes this like Play-Doh-y, hot Cheeto, masa, taco thing. And then you wanna use your hand and get a little messy. Once it becomes this consistency, then you can actually just leave it and let it rest for about 30 minutes. And you need a cup and some lime. You're gonna roll your lime, cut them up, and then squeeze it into a cup just like this. Any cup works. Go ahead and get one of these spray bottles from any department store and just pour your lime juice into the spray bottle and just make sure it's completely full. Don't forget to spin on that cap and just test that it works. Okay, cool. So now we got the ground beef. You want to marinate with some pepper, some cayenne pepper, some onion powder, some cumin. You can't forget the cumin. Cumin is so important in tacos. That's like that distinctive taste. Some crushed red pepper, some tahin. Just kidding, just kidding. Chili powder. And my favorite, smoked paprika. I put that on all my meats almost. Then you want to just slowly mix it together, combine everything beautifully, and cook it inside this wonderful pan. And just like, mmm, it smells so good. Set that off to the side because this is our taco meat filling. Now you're gonna need one of these tortilla press. So I got this off Amazon. It's actually gonna press our masa that's been resting for about 30 minutes. Roll into little balls and, and bam! You got some little mini tacos right now. Yes! You use that to squeeze the tortilla in and heat up a pan really hot with oil and you just throw that on. I'm actually going to be deep frying these but I wanted to pre-cook these a little bit because I want it to hold together. So now that they're holding together from the pre-cook, I can put it into this mold and stick it in the deep fryer. Wow, look at the bubbles. Yes, bubbles. So I usually just wait for the bubbles to dissipate and once they do like that, there's really less bubbles. That's when I know it's done. I just pull it out and I'm ready. From there, you want to take the mist and coat the tacos. Then this will help the hot Cheetos crumbs actually stick to the taco shell so now you can just throw some crumbs onto the taco shell and bam you're gonna have an encrusted infused hot cheeto shell that's gonna taste amazing Woo. so now you can put it onto your taco stand and repeat the process again and get ready to add the filling to your tacos voila <laughs> I am tired after that one. You know how I feel about tacos. This is how I feel about tacos. I am very passionate about tacos. I'm passionate about life in general. Let's try these tacos, okay? You guys ready? The outside has hot Cheeto layer on it with lime. The inside, it's the DNA of this taco is made out of hot Cheetos. All right, let's taste it, guys. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Um, ah, ah. This is so good! It tastes like... Why haven't you made this Taco Bell? That's what it tastes like. It tastes like Taco Bell would sell way more tacos than if they made this. But I made it first, so you better not steal my idea, Taco Bell. I swear. You better, like, call me or something. Don't steal it. Stealing is not nice. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. 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 tacos. Uh, hot dogs. Mmm. Mmm. And this is the perfect combination of both. And I am so happy today. Today is a milestone in my life. I had hot Tito's and tacos at the same time. Mm, so good. I'm just gonna take this and leave. If you guys wanna buy any of the things to make the stuff, you can get it all on Amazon. I put the links in the description below. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my videos every single day at 12 p.m. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. If you're a Marmar, thank you so much for being a Marmar. If you wanna be a Marmar, just hit the subscribe button in the description box below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Oh my gosh, these tacos are so good. Peace. In two, in one. What is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are making a giant 
Rainbow Marshmallow! Let's get to it! That looks a little weird, but don't worry, it's a clean one. For some reason, the boba like stained it, but I cleaned it as best as I could. So for the marshmallows, you're gonna need a lot of sugar. Like I'm talking about a lot of sugar. I used about 12 cups of sugar, and I matched the 12 cups of sugar with 12 fluid ounces light corn syrup. So I just started pouring it all in. 